During puberty, children become curious about their bodies but are naturally hesitant to ask questions. Their teacher's role in such a situation is quite important. Schools and teachers hold the responsibility to create open channels of communication, letting children explore their bodies and understand them without any inhibition. Such sessions should be held at regular intervals as they prevent a lot of misinformation in the society. The teacher training module developed by UNESCO New Delhi for PNG's Keep Girls in School initiative suggests integrating a compulsory menstrual health and hygiene curriculum along with sensitization workshops for both teachers and parents to facilitate menstruators at the right age who often start their periods without any prior knowledge. Agar sahi umar mein periods ke bare mein jankari na ho to dar sa lagta hai gharwad si hoti hai aur chinta hoti hai. Teaching persons with disabilities is also a crucial aspect of menstrual health and hygiene education. So we use actions to I'm good, I'm fine or pet mein dard hai, I'm having a stomach ache. So we use non-verbal actions more compared to uh, verbal cues. Through these, the class teachers, the vocational teachers can help us as counsellors to manage them. Okay, is this the behaviour, what they are showing? Can we treat them through any uh, tips? Will they be able to follow those tips? Are they uh, mild, moderate or severe? Based on that, we can give them steps and therapy. Supporting teachers with suitable infrastructure and ecosystems can also allow them to unlearn societal pressures and common misconceptions around periods. If you want to talk about these issues with children, you need to first support the teachers. And most of the teachers are also from a similar background. So there, there's hesitation around talking about it, there's misinformation, there's awkwardness. So it's most important to first support the teachers and then give them information and probably activities and tasks which they can make students do. A wholesome approach to teaching can truly help keep girls in school. Teachers who are well informed and sensitized can extend their knowledge to small community groups. These local initiatives can further amplify the network of menstrual health and hygiene education.